In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom code to your header and footer for a specific checkout page for an individual product. Here I am inside of a product in the Upsell plugin. And as you can see here on the left-hand side, there's a header and footer tab. So if we go here, we now have the ability to add specific code to the header of the checkout page and the footer of the checkout page. So this is extremely useful for different scripts and styling. If you have a script that you want to use to track something like for Facebook or for Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, if you need to add a specific script to the header or the footer of this checkout page for the specific product, you can do so here. So I just want to show you real quick if I enable the header and enable the footer. So let me just, this is the footer, this is the header, I'm sorry. And then if I type in down here, this is the footer. So of course you need to have the correct code to add here. You need to wrap it around the correct um, information. But if I update this and I go back to my URL options and the purchase URL, I just want to show you exactly what it's doing here. So I'm going to go to that checkout page. Now as you can see here it says this is the header up here so it added that information to the header of the page but of course you need to wrap it if it's a script wrap it around the script tags the styling tags so you need to know what you're doing here it's a little bit of a, for advanced users but then down here you can see it says this is the footer so the footer information that I added now this is useful because it's only doing it even though we have one single checkout page that the upsell plugin is utilizing this is being utilized on a per product level so if I go to another product let's say I go to the upsell product and I want to see that specific checkout page go to the purchase URL let me paste it in up here So as you can see, it's not having the header code, the header information that we put in, and it doesn't have the footer information that we put in. So this way you can customize the checkout page or add a specific script that's assigned to a specific product on a product basis, even though we have one checkout page. So if you wanted to hide elements, let's say you don't want these testimonials to show up on a specific product, you can hide it using the header tags. Uh, you can add the specific styling. So that's how you can utilize uh, the header and footer for a specific product, the header and footer tab, and you would add the code and scripts right here. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.